Right. All right. After last week's U.S. military shakeup, an announcement that General Petraeus will be replacing General McChrystal in Afghanistan has members of both parties questioning the president's timetable for the war. Everyone was on that over the weekend. Joining us now is retired U.S. Army Colonel and author of Warrior's Rage, The Grand Tank Battle of 73, uh, Easting Colonel uh, Douglas, 73 Easting, Colonel Douglas McGregor. Welcome back, Colonel. Good morning, Brian. Colonel, uh, are we right to dial back the withdrawal date? But the president was getting agitated by the questions he was receiving about it. Does he deserve that? Does he, should he be uh, pushing that back or eliminating it? No, I don't think so at all. In fact, I think putting all of these conventional combat troops on the ground in Afghanistan is a serious mistake. The big problem with our mission in Afghanistan right now is that we're trying to build a nation where none exists. And the second problem is that we're fighting people who are really irrelevant to us. The Afghan Taliban has nothing to do with al-Qaeda. Our only interest in Afghanistan is to keep al-Qaeda from coming back. And we can do that without hundreds of thousands of troops and without spending billions of dollars. What would, what would prevent that from coming the next Yemen and Somalia then? That's what we're doing now with uh, airstrikes on, on se separate targets. And it's a nest for al-Qaeda. Well, I think, I think you can continue to strike the enemy whenever you feel like it. But, but the point is that I, it's, a, it's an overstatement to suggest that the people in Afghanistan, whether they're Pashtun tribesmen, which are the body of uh, the Taliban or anybody else, wants al-Qaeda back in the country, they don't. So I, d I don't think keeping al-Qaeda out is that challenging in Afghanistan. I think there are more serious problems with al-Qaeda-like elements elsewhere in the world. You mentioned uh, Somalia and Yemen. We can deal with those periodically. We have a much more serious problem, I would argue, down in Paraguay and South America. They're operating from Paraguay through Brazil up into Venezuela. They have support from Hugo Chavez, and they're working through Mexico with the drug cartels to move people through our open borders into the United States. That's what I would be worried about. All right, so, Colonel, you're saying uh, pull our troops out of there and focus on Uruguay. Oh, not Uruguay, Paraguay, right. and, and focus on our borders. We, we haven't secured our borders. We don't even right. know who is in the United States, Brian. And we're trying to kill people in Afghanistan who are fighting us largely because we're there. What's happening right. in Afghanistan has much more to do with India and Pakistan than it does with us. All right. Uh, we'll have to see about that. Uh, Colonel McGregor, thanks. Meanwhile, 